Hey everybody, I am here today to give you another installment of the Ultimate Acrylic Yarn Comparison. Um, I'm really excited about uh, what I want to show you today because this is something I wasn't planning on. Um, and I, I started washing all my swatches last week. Uh, all these here have been through the wash twice. Um, I do two loads of laundry on laundry day and I ran it through each one, you know, try and uh, get it as much wear as quickly as possible so you know we can get a feel for durability on all these um but after i took them out of the wash i was lazy i didn't weave in any of the ends and i saw how different some of the ends looked after going through the laundry how differently they responded to the wear and i got this idea that perhaps uh the way these ends fared in the laundry is going to be a predictor of the final durability we would see so this is an experiment, um, which is why I'm so excited about it. Um, based off of what I see on the ends, I am going to be making predictions as to which yarns are going to be more or less durable uh, in the final results. Um, I could be way off base, I could be totally wrong, um, or I could be right, and this will be a great way to kind of get a feel, like a quick way to identify how durable the yarn is going to be. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you all the ends, uh, and I have them ranked here in order of kind of best to worst how the ends are looking. Um, best being up here, not over here. I probably said that backwards, but so anyway, let me show you. Um, I'm kind of separating all the S on S play yarns out into their own category because as you can see, all of them kind of unwind the same way. Uh, they don't really hold up in the lush, wash when they're loose, like, at all. Uh, so I don't know if that means that s and ply yarns in general are less durable, or if, again, my, my prediction here is flawed or not. So we'll see. Uh, this one, very separated ends, but not too fuzzy. Uh, this is the Schachenmeyer Soft and Easy. Still have not looked up how to pronounce that. I'm so lazy. Uh, this is the King Cole Cherish, uh, also separated. This, these ends are fuzzing more than these ones, and I think it's because I had this really long tail that just caught on everything, so probably gonna fare about the same. Uh, this is the Casey Smooth from Joanne. This one's actually been in the wash multiple times. I've been washing this one for a couple weeks now. This is probably after about seven or eight washes. Um, and so, yeah, this is completely separated, but it's not fuzzing too bad. And this is Lime Brand Jeans. Also separated, but not fuzzing too bad. So these four, we'll see how they compare to everything else, considering they're all their ends are basically identical. They've all completely unraveled, but they're not really fuzzing too much. So moving on to the other yarns, um, First, just to get this out of the way, this is the Bernat um, Softy Chunky. I did not put this in the wash yet. Um, I actually haven't even uh, done my second swatches on this yet like I'm supposed to because I don't have a crochet hook large enough. And only recently have my local stores reopened, you know, after coronavirus shut down. So I haven't been able to retrieve a large enough crochet hook yet. So this one, I'm kind of guessing just based off of the ply that it's going to you know, behave somewhere here in the middle. But anyway, moving on. All right, this here with these mostly unraveled and very frazzly ends here. This is the paint box Simply Iran. And as you can see, it has unraveled and looks much worse than the Karen One Pound, which the reason... You'll see that although this has held up and unraveled less and the ends look better, this is still fuzzing up here, whereas up, like, it is up here as well, but maybe not as much. So I have these two down at the bottom, because if you compare it to something up at the top of the list, so I'll, I'll give you a preview of why these results are so drastic. Um, this is the Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling, and these ends beautiful in comparison. Very little unraveling, very little fuzzing. So that's why this one's at the top and these two are at the bottom. Uh, next up, 
also mostly unraveled, but you can see the ends aren't quite as frazzly looking. This is the Karen Simply Soft. And after that, we have Lion Brand Basis, Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. These ones completely unraveled, but you can see it looks a lot nicer. What's It's not as fuzzy. It's still like maintaining its strands. If we keep going, here's the Red Heart Soft. Not all of it has unwound. One looks good. One looks, you know, uh, this one... Only two of the plies unwound. The other two stayed mostly intact. And in terms of fuzzing, definitely looks better than all these two, but maybe is closer to a tie with this guy. Uh, next up, Lion Brand Basic Stitch Premium. Mostly still together here. Only a little bit has unwound. And this here is still looking pretty good. It's not, you to compare... Uh, Basic stitch to basic stitch. Um, this is a lot lighter and fluffier looking. This is more defined. All right, next, this is Cascade Yarns North Shore. This one's kind of funny because it mostly holds up, but then this one, one random ply decided to come undone. Um, and it's not fuzzing at all. So, I mean, it's fuzzing a little bit, but again, in comparison, it looks pretty good. And you can see how small these plies are, too, in comparison. Th this was a strange yarn for me in general. All right, this is the Stylecraft Special DK. Similar story. Half of it completely intact, the other half unwound. And so at that point, you're comparing how fuzzy they are, and it's not as fuzzy as some of these other ones. So, uh, you know, that one might actually rank below the Cascade North Shore. Yeah, let's rearrange it. All right, this is Loops and Threads Impeccable. One strand looks exactly the way it was when I knit it. Like, exactly. This one, two of the plies have separated, two haven't. Not looking too bad. This one looks like it's going to be more durable. But it might not be as durable as the uh, Big Twist Value yarn that really has held up well. Very little unwinding. If you look at these ends in comparison to the ends we have at the beginning so there's that one um, even better looking though is the Hobby Lobby I love this yarn again it looks so similar to it when I first knit it um, overall the swatch as a whole might be a little bit fuzzier looking but it's interesting to see so Again, this is all prediction. This is all guess. We have no idea yet if this is going to be true. But so far, all the value yarns are ranking better than a lot of these other cheap yarns. Um, so I, I'm really excited to see how this plays out, if, if this is a predictor or not. Uh, next up, Knit Picks Brava. Very little change in the ends. Very little. Um, what surprised me was that the Loops and Threads Joy DK also very little change in the ends, just a little bit of unraveling here. So this one's also looking good. This is Willow Wash, an anti-pilling yarn. These ends look fantastic. Like, like you can tell that it's been through the wash and it because of all the little dog fur <laughs> segments that are in here now. Uh, but these ends look great. And the one I showed you earlier, this is the Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling DK. Also looking great. Um, a little unravely, very similar to, like, the Joy DK. But overall, again, this one's looking great. So, so the ultimate prediction here, if this is correct, is that these yarns here, the Impeccable... Big Twist Value, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, Knit Picks Brava, Joy DK, Willow Wash, and Premier Everyday, that these are going to be the most durable yarns in the bunch. Um, drastically more so, like, like probably not a lot more so than, like, the uh, Lion Brand Basic Stitch Premium, but probably a lot more than your Karen Simply Soft. So, anyway.
that is my prediction. We're going to keep watching these and we will see if that holds true. Um, be sure and check back for more videos to see if that's the case. Thanks for watching.